I just threw out a couple of essential elements. I, five come to mind immediately, and we've already talked about the administrator buy-in. I mean, it's basically the schools we work best with are the principals <coughs> from the top that want us in there. They actually uh, endorse our programs. Secondly is uh, trust. I think trusting that we, we both, mental health and academics, have the best interest of the kid in mind when we're making our decisions. Um, thirdly is a willingness to share information, knowing that, um, yeah, maybe a child who's been sexually abused, you don't need all the details in the school, but they do need to know. The child's been traumatized, we need to work with them. Mutual respect for each other's professions, which we've already mentioned. And finally, I know for myself, when I go into school, I'm a guest, and basically the school has the ultimate decision. So I'm on their turf, they make the final calls. Uh, some barriers, real quickly, money's always a barrier. Transportation in rural counties, hmm. Some turf issues, very rare. Most of the time we get great cooperation, but occasionally we get a little bit of, I'm a guidance counselor, what are you guys doing coming in here? But most of the guidance counselors we know, they need additional help. Um, we have a little competition sometimes in Port Each County, so we're working on a little more collaboration so we can get some mutual grants. No rooms for therapy. Every once in a while you can win there, you get the janitor's closet, you have to use a hallway. And also, the kids are always taking tests. What's that thing called, uh, no test left behind or something? Um, uh, changes in administration and personalities, good and bad. Sometimes we've had a great program, they've changed. Surveys, somebody asked me about in the schools. Can't we do one survey? You guys get too many surveys to do, so we'll work on that. 